a ginormous callus on her foot. It is getting to the point where there's some blood underneath it and it's very, very painful. Um, so we're gonna take a trim of it today. All right. So this is actually built up very quickly on her. About how long would you say it's been since you had it trimmed last? Three months. Three months. Um, being diabetic definitely can affect your tissue as well as how much you walk, the types of shoes that you wear, um, if you put lotion on your feet or not. Um, lots of different things can. And I'm sure this feels so, so much better when you get it trimmed down. I feel like I'm squeezing her poor little toe to death. Normally I don't use a blade handle, but sometimes when a callus is very thick, I need a little bit of extra leverage and the handle helps me to do that. As you'll see, there's some blood underneath it and that's just from all the pressure that the callus forms. The thicker it gets when you put a shoe on, it does put more and more pressure on the underlying skin. And that's why it's important to get these things cut off by a podiatrist because you can develop a wound. If the drainage underneath it has nowhere to go because it can't escape outward, because of all the callus tissue, it has no choice but to burrow a hole deeper and deeper into your skin. Wow. I can normally tell how far to go just by the look of the tissue. I don't necessarily need to get every little speck of blood off there. Um, but sometimes when you go too far on a callus that's so big, it can actually become sore and make it worse. So we don't want to do that. And we don't want to open that up if we don't have to. Now, if I thought it was an open wound, if it was draining consistently under there, then I would trim it to actually expose whatever was going on. Okay. There you go. I think that'll be good. It's the normal shape of a toenail. Yes. I love it. Okay. 